Hey, what's up, guys? This is Sean here. So uh, let's take a look at uh, this week's uh, weekly contest, number 1,610, maximum number of visible points. Um, so this one, OK, I know it's got a lot of downvotes. You know, I'm going to give it my own upvotes. So basically, this, this problem is more like a geometry problem. You know, basically, you are given like a list of points you know, and it even give you like a, a small video here. And so basically you have a list of points uh, on the, uh, you have a, a few points here, different points here. Okay. Different points. And then you, and then there, there's a person here. So the person, there's a location. Let's say the, lo the person is located, the location is, is somewhere here. That, that's the person, okay. That's a person. And there's this angle. So this angle is like the, uh, the angle is like the uh, the person can, can see, right? So, I mean, this this here, the D is like a little bit confusing. Basically, you know, all we, all we need to know is that, so the person can see like this many of angle here. So D means that uh, like, uh, like uh, at the current like angles, you can just uh, if the person is facing like this this angle here, right? And you can uh, see uh, half of, half of the angle from here and half of the angle from there. But this one doesn't really matter. I know a lot of people give downward downwards this problem just because of this D here. It's a little bit confusing. Okay. And then okay, so and then after that, right? It just asks us to find out the uh, and also the person can can rotate freely. Basically, the person. So it says the per, at the beginning, the person is uh, is uh, facing east here, but it doesn't re really matter actually. So and the person can can rotate. So the person can rotate to here, to here, and to here, and to here, and to here. Basically, can the person can rotate freely, and at each directions, the person can see this amount of this angle of of the view here. And it just asks you to find the, uh, the 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 max points this person can see after rotating like 360 degree. Okay. So so and so basically the the key observation for this problem is that we have to know the person the angles between uh between the person and each angle and each point here. So why is that? Let's say we have like this one here. Let's say the person is, is right here. Okay. And let's say the person is one and one. So and there's a there's a point here. And there's also a point here. Okay. And then there's also a point here and here, here, and here. As you guys can see, so basically the uh the angles, right? The angles between this these two points and and the and the person is zero, okay. And how about here? Here is like the forty five, the between the person and and th these two angles are forty five. And about those two points, these are are ninety, right? So which means that every time when when the when the persons rotate, there there are like some, there will be some new points. I mean, gets into the this person's view, but there will also be some some points that get out of the view of this person, and this is more like a sliding window, and the size of the sliding window is this angle, right? And the most important thing we need to do is that we have to calculate the angles between the angles between the person and the, each of the point, and then we just need to sort it. We just need to sort all the of the points, and then from there from there we can just use the sliding windows. We can just uh, rotate it based on the uh, based on the angles of, of the points. And every time when we when we uh, when we are see a new a new point, we'll just try to uh, validate the the sliding window, and then we'll just update our final answer. Yep, I think that's pretty much it. Is let me try to uh, uh, 
uh, code these things here. So, uh, like I said, right? So we need a uh, we need the angles. Okay, we need the angles to store to give us the uh, the list of all the angles here. Okay, and then I'm gonna define like uh, a helper functions help us to get angles angle and the p here. Okay, so I mean for those who don't know how to get angles, uh, there's like a lot of many uh, some like articles from from uh from google basically uh, here we're just using the uh uh this like this uh python math helper functions to help us get the angles between two points and in this case is p0 minus location zero and then p1 minus location one and then we divide it by two times math dot pi, and then we times three sixty. Okay, and if the angle is smaller than zero, I uh, I convert it to a I convert it to a positive number here, basically, and then I I simply return the angle here. So the, the reason being is that, you know, let's say we have a, we have a, like a, the, let's say there, this is a person and, and there's a point. So the point between this person is this one is four, it's 45. How about the per, how about if there's a point here, what's the, the angle between th those two person, there's going to be a, this is going to be a, 225 degree here, right? And what if there's a like person, uh, a point here? So basically we're calculating the, uh, uh, the degrees, uh, counterclockwise like, like this. So here will be a three fifteen, And then when we rotate, when we rotate our, the, the person, the, the views will also try to rotate, uh, counterclockwise. So, yeah, so that's that, you know, and now we just need to populate these things here. Oh, and one more thing here, you know, since uh, there are like some few examples here, like, let's say, you know, there, there could be a point that have the same location as, 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 as this person. So, you know, right, which means that if the person standing right, right here, okay. And if there if there's a point happens to be the, at the same location here, so we should uh, treat the, we should uh, treat this point separately because no matter how this person ro uh, rotate right, so we, the person will st will still be able to see this point regardless. So for that one, we have to uh, we have to uh, mark them separately. So basically, we're gonna have like same uh, same variables here just to to count how many points have the same location as this person. And for those per, for those points, uh, we will not add into our, our angle because there's no point of, uh, of, of, of rotating that, uh, moving that uh, point in and out of the sliding window. Okay, so here we just do a same plus one. Else, else we just do angles, angles dot append and get angle okay sure so now we have angles of a, of the uh of a list of angles so we just need to uh sort it okay now we, let's just just sort it okay cool so and now we have an answer here okay now we can just uh do our sliding window so I'm going to use like a queue here, queue here to store the uh, the current the current uh, points uh, inside the sliding window, so that we we can easily just use the the length of the queue to update our answer. So I'm gonna have a DQ here, okay. So and now just uh, for an angle, right? For an angle in angles, okay. First we update, we add, we append this angle to the queue, okay. And then now we, we just need to update it while 
the current one, right? Because we are adding this sliding window from left to right, right? Basically, and it's also also sorted. So that's why we can uh, dequeue those ones from the tail, whose the, uh, the different, the angle difference is greater than the angle. So this means that the last one, the last one, the last one in the queue, the difference between those the ones, uh, the last ones and the current angle, right? It's greater than the angle, so which means that the, this one, this one cannot be seen anymore. So that we just need to uh, pop left. Okay. Now after the while loop, we have a valid sliding window. So now we can simply update that. Right. Answer dot uh, the length. We can simply use the length of, of the queue. Okay. But you know, so here, you know, and then we can simply return the answer plus same. But there is a, like a small a catch here, you know, we cannot simply stop here. So why, why is that? Because, you know, uh, let's say that we, uh, we rotate one, uh, 360 and right, right to here. Okay. But then, you know, but then the, uh, you know, between here, between here and, and here, let's say there's, they're like, a let's say between like the minus 45 degree and the positive 45 degrees, let's say there are like a, a lot of points right here. Okay. So which means, and then if we only, we stop here, we'll be missing this, this, uh, this, I mean, missing checking this area here because we stop from here and th those points from this uh, zero to, to 45 degree here that have already been popped outside of, of the queue here, right? But so, which means we could have missed our, our correct answer here. If the, uh, the, if the final answer is, if the other points uh, are, are somewhere here, okay? And there are like only a few right here. So how can we, how can we fix that, right? I mean, the easiest way is that we just do a, a for loop one, one more time. Basically, we, we start once once after we finish uh, looping once one circle, we just do another one so that we can make sure we cover every uh, every uh, corner case here. OK, so but to to do that, right, I mean, uh, we just need to do a little bit uh, changes here because, you know, the point right here, there are like uh, very big uh, angles, like 345, 340, right? But the angles right here, they are like uh, 0 to, 40, to, to 45, right? And if we are, if we are, uh, if we are using the same angles here, right? And when we do this one, so the so the while loop here, the check here will be like a negative number here. Right. So to fix this issue, right, we, we can simply, uh, the easiest way will be what? So in the, in the second for loop here, we just add everything, all the angles with the 360 so that they will be, uh, so that the, this one will be, can cover the, the angles from the previously, uh, cycle here. Yeah, I think that's that's it. Let's try to run the code here. And ah, yeah, angel and angle. Okay, yeah, I always mistype that, you know. Okay, so the, the test case passed. Let's try to submit it. <sighs> okay, cool. So yeah, you know, it's it's not a very like, I don't know why it's only beat like 10, less than 10%, but you know, so but the time complexity for this, right? I mean, it's a, I mean, there, it, the most expensive part is right here, right? We just need to sort the angles here. So it's going to be an n log n, right? Where the n is the, the, the number of the points here. Okay. And other than that, it's just, it's just like, so this for loop, they are the same, right? Yeah, and here you know it, it it's fine because we're we're not going to uh, you know 
for for each of the angle here, right? I mean, we're only going to uh, loop through this uh, the, each of the angles one uh, one more time. Okay, basically we're not going. So here is a, like constant here, and so this is like here is n. This is also n here. So in total, it's also n log n. Okay, yeah, yeah. I think that's that's pretty much it. Is I want to talk uh, for this problem. Yeah, I think it's a it's interesting problem, you know, especially for for this part. I mean, if you if you don't know how to get an angle, then probably you cannot solve this problem. Yeah. So this is the this is the 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 one of the the one of the key point you need to solve this problem. And after that, and you just sort, and then it's just a sliding window plus a little bit corner case handling, right? And then add the same. Cool, guys. I think that's it. Thank you so much uh, for watching this video, guys. Stay tuned. See you guys soon. Bye-bye.